if you're everybody talking about oh but it was Bucks versus refs. Who was it? Y'all just was playing your game and it failed because y'all were missing. You're playing your game bad. Phoenix None. Cardinals. <laughs> I don't know why they're not called the Phoenix Cardinals. Phoenix Cardinals, Arizona Cardinals. I see why they didn't call it that. <clears throat> Arizona Suns. <sighs> that does sound nice. Arizona Mercury. All right. <clears throat> Yo, what it do? It's your boys, Juice and Lou, and we back here with another episode for y'all. Man, it's going to be a good one today. It's going to be a real good one. Do you know why? Because wow. game one was last night. And guess what? What? Well, what am I getting? 30 again. Chris Paul put up 30. Man, oh man, they said he couldn't do it no more. You said he can't do it no more. <laughs> man, oh man. Uh, game one was last night, and the Suns won in a pretty blowout fashion through throughout the whole game. Well, Second half, kinda. But it was it was looking really bad. The end score does not tell the full story. It was one eighteen to one oh five. And you know what we like to do. We like to get into these stats, man. Let's go ahead. Let's start with this. And in forty one minutes, Devin Booker put up twenty seven points, uh, two boards, six assists, and three steals. He came out the gates early, being aggressive, getting to the free throw line. We love to see that. We love to see that because it's the finals. You got to do what you got to do to get some points on the board. He went 10 for 10 from the line. Not the best three-point shooting night. Uh, but he went 8 for 21. Not the best shooting night either. But he still ended up with 27 points. Helped a lot. Uh, I don't think he's going to shoot that bad as often. Because there was Drew Holiday. P.J. Tucker was on him. Like you said, that would happen. But... We'll see how that goes. DeAndre Aiden. Man, oh man. Besides Chris Paul, he was the sec he was the second best player last night. Twenty two mm-hmm. and then twenty two and nineteen, almost a twenty twenty game within thirty eight minutes. Eighty percent shooting and six for six from the three, mind you. The whole team the, the the Suns up until like thirty seconds. What twenty five for twenty six? What, or they, they didn't miss a free throw. Jay Crowder, you just had to be the guy. You just had to be the guy to miss the free throw. He got back-to-back finals appearances, though. Hey, shout out to him. Shout out to him. We surely, surely do miss you down in Miami. But, uh, my man, my man, my man, my man, Chris Paul in 37 minutes put up 32 points, nine assists, and he completely took over the third quarter with dropping 16 points. Completely. And then, uh, he only shot 12 for 19 and 63 percent, four for seven from the three point line. That's tough. Mm -hmm. And Jay Crowder didn't make a field goal. And they won like this. He wasn't hitting his shots. He went over eight, over five from three, and they won. Played good defense though. Immaculate defense. Mikel Bridges, great first half. Cameron Johnson, solid. They needed him back. Cameron Payne, he dropped ten points. He went in double figures. Uh, uh, they did lose Dario Sarkic though. ACL. Done. Uh, it wasn't really. A, it, it wasn't a tremendous loss, but it is a good loss. But Frank Kaminsky, I think he could give you some good minutes. Tory Craig, he could give you some good minutes in replace of that. So, 
I think the whole small ball lineup thing with Phoenix, if DeAndre Ayton is, is sitting, I think that's not a bad idea. I think you just live with Brook Lopez shooting, but you just stop everybody else. I think that works. I think that works. Now, let's go over to uh, the Buck side. Giannis was not supposed to play. They said he was fine. In my opinion, I think he was supposed to play. But they said even prior to the injury, he was working on that leg. He was getting stronger. So if anything like this were to happen, he could come back sooner rather than later. And I guess it worked out because he looked fine. That chase down block. They were, I, as soon as I saw the chase down block, I said, hey, they're going to pair that. They're going to pair that to LeBron. They're going side by side it with LeBron. And I go on Twitter. Boom. Overtime does it. I said, mm-hmm. Literally, I sent it in the chat. I sent it in the chat at, at what was it, 10.04? I sent it in the chat at 10.04. At 10.09, I saw that thing on Twitter. I said, yup. Yup. Middleton in 44 minutes. Barely went out the game. He had 29 points, 12 for 26 shooting, 5 for 12 from 3. I wouldn't necessarily call that a bad game. But I wouldn't really call it a great game either because he started off pretty slow. So, uh, Drew Holiday, like I said, stunk it up. He stunk it up. I said it after that. I've been said after the series with us, he hasn't been consistent, and it's going to carry on. And it did. 4 for 14, 0 for 4 from 3. Uh, not really. He, he was flirting with a triple-double, 10, 7, and 9, but he, he, I need some points out of you. I need some points out of you. Giannis, 20 and 17. Or it's just two steals and a block. Uh, only shot 11 shots. Wasn't really as aggressive, but I think he was playing with caution. I think he was playing with caution. He didn't want to, like, you know, go back to Giannis. Yeah, you know how he was. P.J. Tucker, 7 points. Uh-huh. Brooke Lopez, in 22 minutes, 17 points. And then you got everybody else. So, from looking at the stat, if you look at the stat sheet, none of these, the Bucks didn't really play bad. They both shot. I think they both shot 88 times, I believe. Yeah, both teams shot 88 times. Bucks made 40 shots. Suns made 41 shots. So it was one shot off. They were one shot off. It was close. Them Except free throws. Them reps. Them free throws. The refs. Them reps. The Bucks made more threes than them. As usual, but they also, yeah, they made five more threes. Okay, what was the free throw counts? The free throws. They shot twenty six free throws to the Bucks. The Bucks sixteen. So they shot ten more free throws. But you're a three point shooting team. Yeah. So why do you expect them to get to the free throw? If you're everybody talking about, oh, but it was Bucks versus Raps. Who oh, was it? Y'all just was playing your game and it failed because y'all were missing. You're playing your game bad. The Suns played aggressive and got to the line. The Bucks are, like I said, are not consistent. They'll probably come out in, uh next game probably cold again. And then they're going to go back home. And they're going to light it up from three. Because they're home. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. They're inconsistent. They just can't They they just can't do it like that. But looking at the stats, they didn't really play a bad game. Could have been better, but it wasn't really bad. But the Suns just played better than them. More aggressive. They wanted it more. Simple. Okay. Um... I've watched the game. Uh, I say, man, I watched. Uh, I could watch like uh, to like the start of the fourth. And first half was pretty good. It was a pretty good game first half. But I knew the Bucks were gonna lose game one. Just looking at the first half. Uh, third quarter, third quarter, man. Chris Paul killed him. I think he had like 18 points in the third, uh, which was crazy. And he had 12 in the second quarter, had zero in the first. 
So, Chris Paul, props to him. He went off in his first finals game. And he's looking unguardable at some point. Some points he's looking unguardable. But then it just comes down to strategy-wise. Uh, two things. Oh, man. Mike Budenhoser. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> I thought Ty Lue was bad at making adjustments in game one. But Jesus. they. I think they ran a pick and roll with Chris Paul Booker to get a big man on him the whole Every first half. Every single time. Every single time it worked. Every single time. And the third quarter. <sighs> um, it's it's hard to guard it though. Uh, I think in the in the first half they switched it completely, which was stupid to even think of that. And they started the game all. They had Booker on Chris Paul, and they had Drew Holiday guarding Booker to start. They did that for size, so Booker could switch on to Aiden and stop him in the paint. But Brook Lopez can't guard Chris Paul. <laughs> We've seen it. That man was dancing on him. And then the second half, they started going. I'm pretty sure they they let Chris Paul just run around the screen, which is going under. But the problem was there was no pinching from the wings or anywhere else on the court because they would run it they wouldn't really run a pick and roll in the middle they would kind of run it on like the wings of the sides of the basketball court which is very effective so there's no like real threat help defenders like Giannis he plays a lot of great help defense and I don't think that's going to work against the Suns it's not going to work so you got two things you can do in my opinion I haven't seen a team try this. I haven't seen them try to blitz Chris Paul. Now, there is one problem with doing that. He is a good for general and great vision. But he's only six foot. So you put, say, say Drew Holiday uh, blitzes him. And somehow you have PJ Tucker on the other side. Dude, that's that's it. That should be an easy collapse. I mean, what's Drew Holiday? Six four, six five. PJ Tucker six six. It should be an easy, you know, double team. It's gonna be hard to throw a pass between both of them. Um, the only problem with that is if it does, you would want it not to. You you don't want to leave Devin Booker open, of course. And I guess Bridges or Cam Johnson, you probably don't want to leave Cam Johnson open. I'd rather have Bridges shoot. So, I mean, well, unless Aiden, Aiden would probably be setting the screen. And then you probably want to leave Jay Crowder. You want to rotate off Jay Crowder. You just don't want to rotate off Booker. Anybody else but Devin Booker. And the same thing goes the other way. If Devin Booker has the ball, you can blitz Devin Booker too, because he's not a great passer. So you want Devin if Devin Booker's running this pick and roll say say Drew Howard and PJ Tucker blitz him and double team him you don't want to you want to sag off CP3 and Jay Crowder which makes it easier honestly just don't leave Cameron Johnson at that point wide open I'd rather have CP3 shoot a three all day and Jay Crowder all day all day of the week that's what happens when a Devin Booker screen now I, I said two things, but it was this is my third thing actually. Giannis, I know you say he didn't have to play aggressive, but he doesn't get a lot of playoff minute basketball. Like, we've seen LeBron; he plays forty plus minutes. Giannis, even when he was healthy, he would only play like thirty six minutes, probably max, in a playoff game. I don't know if that's stamina or conditioning or like he can't bang and go run in the paint all 40 minutes if he played 40 minutes. No. And the last thing was, I want to try, if I was the Bucks, I would try Giannis at the five. Um, Brooke, like, like we saw last night, Brooke Lopez was getting cooked, like seasoned chicken, seasoned chicken on a stove. You so do the same thing with Bobby Porter. You didn't let me finish the lineup. The lineup I would propose is uh, Drew, Pat Connaughton, Chris Middleton, PJ Tucker, and Giannis. 
I figured that. Figured That's what that. I would do if I were the Bucks. At at not the whole game, no, of course not the whole game. Just uh in the closing minutes, so they can't run like easy pick and rolls. And uh, I mean, I, a little bit in the first half, but that's that would be like my like quote unquote Warriors would say death lineup. That would be like my death lineup. Mm. I think that lineup would work because Giannis is a good rebounder, and especially if it was if he was healthy, if he was like a hundred percent, and I would definitely would have loved to run that lineup. And PJ Tucker, he's a big body too. He can box out Jay Crowder down there. So. I think they should try that lineup. I don't know if they ever will because I don't know if Giannis wants to play in a pick and roll defense situation because of all the offensive energy he has to exert. But that's just my my thinking, in my opinion, because obviously having Brooke Lopez and Bobby Porter get killed all night is not going to work. They want to win at least. Yeah. So, I mean, I did, say the, I did say the Suns would win game one most likely. So... They up one zip, game two Thursday. So it should be it should be another good game. Hopefully, Mike Budenholzer makes some adjustments before I turn off the game in the fourth. So, yep, Monty Monty said him and Chris Paul's relationship when it comes to like calling plays and stuff like that. It all it's, it's just like a little a little squint. Or you look over, you give him the. He said he gives Chris Paul the same three plays, and he goes with that. And he goes with that. And if he needs a new play, he look over and do a little squint. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Bucks better be looking at a lot of film to find that. They better go find that. Even though it's kind of hard to find it on film. Like, it's, it's more so you got to see it in real time. And then remember it, and then go back and look at it. Kind of, but you got to be paying attention to it. But look, we're going to see how that goes, man. We're going to see how that goes. But we got something for y'all tomorrow. We got a fans hot take special episode for y'all. We're going we gonna to go through some of y'all's hot takes. And we're going we gonna, to, you know, go over them, see if they really, you know, see if they hot or if they ice cold. But, hey, until tomorrow, we're going to see how that goes. But it's your mm-hmm. boys, Juice and Lou, and we out of here. Peace.